Okay, feel free to start, Professor Marcos. Thanks, Luis, for thanks, Luis, for the nice introduction. Good evening, uh, good afternoon. My name is Marcos Pereira. I'm with the Catholic University in Rio de Janeiro. In the reality, I will show you two in sequence papers, uh, both of them dealing with uh, high cycle fatigue. The first one is combining fi uh, a very high cycle fatigue and manu additive manufacturing. And the second one is another very different scenario will be about the thermal exposition from the specimens during the, the, spec the, during the testings. So, oops. So it's the outline of my, my talk, a brief introduction, and then the experimental, the results, a prediction to the fine grain region in the, the, speci the surface specimens, and the conclusions. Well, to talk about fatigue, I suppose one of the most important guy in this area is Wöhler, that w when working by the German uh, Hay Rhodes, he put the concept of infinite life in fatigue. But before uh, Wöhler starts his, his works, there are some others that worked also with fatigue. And Braithwaite, for instance, we used for the first time the, the, the name of fatigue to tie the materials. So, but in any how, Wöhler is one of the five top researchers in this area. And the contribution was to put Exactly, the uh, fatigue. Onde é que é o negócio aqui? Aqui. Ah, no vermelho aqui. Oops. And the. Sorry for that. And the contribution was to put exactly the infinite life of the material, but. After Wöhler and during the technical development, some research must be carried out, especially with very high uh, 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 fatigue in or materials in very high cycle fatigue, especially by development the high speed trains. They are uh, 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 projected to be mi miles of kilometers or miles during the service, and. The extension of the, the proposed the curve from Wöhler to, to the, to the uh, area of very high cycle fatigue, no? si first was the, uh, the, the question if really there is an infinite life in the material. There is, no, there is no more about that. So Bacchai in 1999 proved that it was no more possible. What's possible to do is have a target of a number of cycles and together combining with the stress of the project and if try to find if the materials can achieve that. Uh, to possible to do the very high cycle fatigue testing was the development of ultrasonic equipments that with use of that is possible to reduce the time the, the, the time of the, the, the testings for about uh, 10, 10 to seven cycles in uh, her, uh, uh, 11 in 100 Hertz would be about one day by ultrasonic fatigue is about 10 minutes. But according to this also, there is some feature, especially in the fracture surface of the materials. For instance, the, the area of the fine grain regions and together with the fish eye, the first initiation of the crack that is not possible to do during the test must only after the, the, the specimens, the test finish, and also how is is included in another area, the name is the fish eye of that. So what should I say about additive, uh, additive manufacturing after over 35 uh, presentations since Monday? Or what should I say about fatigue and the long, uh, super long fatigue? Also over 10 presentations from today. But wha what I can say about fatigue resistance of ad additive manufacturing materials under long and super long regimes, I suppose are really a, sh a challenger. 
is really a field of interest for ma ma uh, fatigue behavior of the materials now, and the is very important this task because only the uh, additive manufacturing has sometimes uh, some tasks, sorry, that must be superate for over overtake for for comp uh, the compressive situation of that, and also when combined with the the the, the very high cycle fatigue the situation is more more complicated for that so what i want in this sense what i want to present during my talk is a combining of uh, very high cycle fatigue tests and also uh, a, a steel an inox steel 316 after additive manufacturing here we have the the experimental the materials the power the particle the par particle distribution the sh chemical composition of the power the chemical composition of the substrate uh, substract the coupons were made by laser direct energy deposition here is the specimen and the specimens were machined from the printed coupons so I talk about as built, but it's not exactly as built because after as built, printed as a built, you have uh, machined the specimens. Uh, as built in a condition of uh, ultimate strength of about 605 megapascal, age of about 400. Heat treated, two different in the sequence, uh, a stress relieved, and after that, a solubilization. And to show the different uh, mechanical parameters from the as built, uh, uh, something lower than the first one. So the experimental methodology was to talk about the VS, the very high cycle fatigue tests, a fractographic analysis, and also a predication from the fine grain area by Murakami, Lu, and Yang. Here you have the first results. Um, the Here you have the first results. The S built material in red and heat uh, treated in black. So we can see that both we have a uh, run out specimens in both conditions after 10 to 9. But uh, uh, not very large difference between the fatigue uh, behavior of both, better, something better for the as built as for the uh, heat treated. Here we have some uh, informations about the aspects of the surface after the, the testing. Uh, here we have the initiation of the crack in a metallurgical problem, in an inclusion, exactly at the surface of the specimen. I, it was a uh, as built specimen. Then we have here an uh, uh, initiation. A initiation, I'm sorry for that. A initiation at the surface. Initiation. Uh, internal initiation, also better to put more light. <laughs> yeah, better, better solution. So we can use for also for the internal uh, initiation, also uh, in an inclusion in in the fine grain area involved by the fish eye area. Here we can see the roughness no, of the surface. And also, uh, subsurface initiation, also in an inclusion, uh, involves uh, um, a smaller fish eye and also a smaller fine grain area involved. So after that, we tried to predict no, the uh, FPGA size uh, area by the square meter of the, the, the is, is square area from the from different possibilities from Young, Murakami, and Lu. Né? 
and the best is fitted. Here, here we have this experimental, and the best is fitted by the young for both of them. So, as built con con uh, condition presented better performance in relation for the very high site fatigue behavior, the heat treatment was not fa effective to obtain an increase in the bacteria's fatigue resistance. Mm -hmm. Recommended to work for for the, the lowest uh, uh, tensile that we saw that about for both 200 megapascal fatigue strength of uh, 10 to 9. Uh, uh, cycles corresponded for about 35% of the ultimate stress of the material for both conditions. Mm -hmm. Crack initiation was governed by the presence of metallurgical defects and as built in also in the heat treated uh, specimens mm -hmm. with the measurement value of the square area from the FGA was showed by fine agreements with those estimated by Yang's equation. Thanks for attention.